It was my destiny to be the WWE Champion. I want to represent every one of you. I mean, this match is over. With respect. This is not the mark of a true champion. With honesty. That's no way for a champion to act. I am a real champion. You are not a champion. I am tired of you bullying people because you say you can. And that golden destiny that you got your hands on, that makes you a target. You're about to find out that your destiny is John Cena whipping your ass. Oh gosh, Alberto Del Rio seizing the moment. I'm the man who's gonna change WWE forever. I will be the man who's gonna replace legacy with my destiny. Which man is gonna continue the illustrious heritage of the WWE title? Is it gonna be John Cena or is it gonna be Alberto Del Rio? Wait a minute! That's Del Rio's fly yellow Ferrari! I love John Cena's strategy. Kicking this thing off with a little mind games. Think you're the only one who can drive fancy cars down the ring. I stole your Ferrari, how's that make you feel? Ladies and gentlemen, this is about the WWE Championship, the most coveted prize in sports entertainment since 1963. And John Cena, the challenger, has held the title a record nine times. I can't believe John Cena stole Alberto Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. It was just a joy ride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. And here's John Cena. Here is John Cena wreaking havoc. A sharp kick. Just six days ago on Raw, we were treated to a very special tag team match when the legendary Red Hitman Hart teamed with John Cena to take on Alberto Del Rio and Ricardo Rodriguez. Yeah, it's too bad that Del Rio wasn't around to see much of it. He hightailed it, leaving his personal ring announcer to take the brunt of the punishment. About Monday's tag match, yes, it would have been nice to see Alberto Del Rio actually compete in the match, but at the same time, I think the champ is simply playing mind games, wisely making Cena wait until tonight. Yeah, and making him hard. Rodriguez suffered through an attitude adjustment and a sharpshooter. Back and forth. How do these superstars keep doing it? Oh, unloading with the right hand. What a reversal. And that shot was dialed in. Whoa. Oh, cool. Look at that. Now that's how you hurt an opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, Alberto Del Rio captured the WWE title last month when he successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank contract against CM Punk at SummerSlam. Yeah, but don't forget, Punk had already been laid out by Kevin Nash. And speaking of Kevin Nash, he held the very same title Del Rio and Cena are fighting for, the WWE Championship, back in the mid-1990s when he was competing as Diesel. Well, you're right. He beat the legendary Bob Backlund for the gold in a match that lasted a mere eight seconds. He then went on to hold the title for an amazing 358 days. And that was a big shot that just dropped Cena. Nice dodge there. Oh, did you see that? His body twisting and turning in a sickening way. And he does it one more time. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a... And will this be it? If John Cena wins here tonight, 
He'll extend his already record number of WWE championships to 10. And you know that's on top of his two World Heavyweight Championship reign. Cena truly has one of the most historic championship histories of all time. And let's not forget that John Cena is also a former three-time United States champion. At this point, Kang, I think it would be quicker to list the title Cena hasn't won. I think you're right. Oh, John Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's got to be taking its toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena? or Alberto Del Rio. Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. He'll do everything he can to give integrity to the WWE title. And he's displaying tremendous viciousness. I love this emotion from the WWE Universe. And you know John Cena loves the diverse reaction he gets as well. He actually feeds off of it. No superstar in history has received the emotional response for his matches the way that John Cena has. He's probably the most provocative superstar we've ever had in WWE. Uh oh trying to put him away. the way two and he tosses his opponent to the ground man that was a vicious elbow drop uh oh look at this oh. trying to put him away oh jeez Oh, this isn't good. The floor of the match has changed again. Do you give up? And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. He thinks he has it. Two. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, uh oh Kick, how awesome was that? Well, I could watch those all day. I don't do them, but I like to watch them. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole, what's he going to do here? And there he goes, crashing to the floor. Well, going to the top, high risk. Ah! Wow, going all in and man, did it pay off. You can practically see the pain in his face right now, Two. thanks to that tremendous move off the ropes. Three. He almost took his head off with that lariat. He's heading back up. Watch out! Look at this! He's just barely moving! What a five-knuckle shuffle! He's going for it again. Whoa, whoa. He was able to reverse that. Watch it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, after that, you're not seeing stars. Cover, cover. Oh, man. Hold it up, end over end. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. What a fist drop. Not this! He was one step ahead on that one. Look at this. This could be it. Lock into the submission. Trying to tear that shoulder. Whoa! He's measuring... There's no question that Alberto Del Rio is the real deal. Look at what he's accomplished this year alone. He won the largest Royal Rumble in history, 40 men. Alberto Del Rio, of course, was in the main event at WrestleMania. He won the Money in the Bank ladder match and cashed it in to win the WWE title. And Del Rio forced Edge to retire and injured Rey Mysterio. Well, you're right. For being in WWE for a relatively short amount of time, it's unbelievable how much Alberto Del Rio has accomplished. Simply put, Del Rio has had one of the greatest years in WWE history.
Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Reverses it. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. Whoa, this could be trouble. And this has got to be it. Two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, John Cena is now a 10-time WWE Champion. Oh, that's great. Let me say it. The champ is here. Well, let's just savor this reaction for a moment. A picture is worth a thousand words right now. And John Cena is celebrating like it was the first time he ever won the WWE title. Oh.